Mimi sijawahi fanya siasa yangu kwa kanisa. Mimi nangojea watu huko nje. Tutafanya siasa huko nje. Leo mimi hata katika siasa yangu najua kuna watu wengine wanakuwa very frustrated na mimi. Kwa sababu wakiniangalia hata ukinitusi kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni mimi hata sijawahi jibu mtu. Kwa sababu mimi najua watu wakirinyaga. Hawa watu nikuwaambia watu wakirinyaga ni watu werevu sana. Kila candidate akikuja akiwa nauliza nemoka hekura wanasema eh huyo mwingine anakuja saa nane nemoka hekura wanasema kuna watu ambao wanalala hospitali siku ya kura. Kwa sababu walikuwa wanadhania watapata na hawaku Watu wakirinyaga kile wanahaja nayo ni maendeleo na kazi. Eke. Dare muhere wa horo, si ndio? Mimi ndio nilianza kitambo kwa ile sentensi ya kusema ninasikiza nini? Ground. Sikuizi nasikia kila mtu anasema wanasikiza ground. Kwa hayo mengi na machache ni waombe klaji muendelee kutuombea muendelee kuombea viongozi kuombea nchi yetu kuombea kaunti yetu ya Kirinyaga na kaunti zile zingine kwa sababu tumeambiwa ya kwamba kwa Biblia inasema blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God sisi tunataka amani tunataka tuendelee kuendelea mbele ili tuendelee na maendeleo na wakati wa siasa ikifika sisi tutakuja huku chini tuongee maneno ya siasa si ndio gaidake mura adhime na amwekewega na maneno ya siasa wanajua kuangalia kana moti oe ile moti oe ora godhiaga mimi nilikuwa asubuhi kwa sababu rafiki yangu mheshimiwa Lydia amekuwa akinifuata sana kuhusu mkutano huu um, Reverend Vika na father. Na, na vile governor umesema I am with you 100%. Ando aito haya. Haya. No bone makirete ngwe shire de andu akigu. Kati bwo. Mutiro do mato. Maudu maya mo de maradhi na mbere. Inyo murado babaru wame bahasha Nyo haro wama Kuro do mutoi Tiro do mugu ni hidi kuro do mudu Nadu wakire nyaga Nadu wakire mageke gito ni adu wakire muno Muno Mahi alaka nyoi Mahasho ni tuwa maidone bakatene Mui Ni wakire muno Na mudu utamuwewega no ama kuwe uwo e shiri ya tenea do makiri ya tenea uwa do wakiu aya nene de moi de madhia kakahora to ne de moi adua ito makira uwo ki do giwa kure uro moi ma kue rore la uka uwo uwe ko uwo ma kari ganda igere da igere ma kamanya neinya ma kakira Namatia lagi amono, na dua ya ini okona we hadu macakaya ini, udie gari ini aku wona kutiru mundu aku madhuda, na kadia harabe na ke, adua cio mare kadi nya nawe te, na wokira me kira ria, eh, adua ya itu mogo diu wo makirete 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 makirete, wai wona ma kira ki. Umeja hauna horo ya rori keire Kaitu hii nabele na kukira Na kukira na uge Ito hii na hivyo tuwa lekuo Na hivyo tuwe kuo Na hivyo tuwa kono tuwe ke Hei Na juge Tukiruta hilo watu rahalu tatoka hii karania Haduo the mali dikane Wega Dole wale huwana huru Wega wale huwana ke Ini gue banyak gue mau
Tukaide sisi sote Tuka introduce ourselves Na tukaungea machache sana We are celebrating 100 of years of faith Please tunawaomba viongozi wetu Tafadhali tusiingize siasa Katika maneno Hii tunafanya siku hii ya leo Tafadhali tunawaomba Tafadhali Kwa hivyo kama kuna mtu atapatiwa nafasi Please Aonge mambo ya yetu hapa Atusalimie Iyo ingine tutakuwa na wakati wa siasa Sinamna hiyo wa kristu e, Tafadhali Leo tuko kwa kanisa Siku ya siasa Tukiwaita hapa Tutapiga siasa Kama vile tumeongozwa Na father I am <coughs> Mutu waki, mutu waki hapa Baza seme hile anataka hile iko kwa roho Afunguke Kama, kama imekuwa hivyo Baza father na fikiria Umeondoa hile 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 cross Hile natufanya hutue Tunanyenyekea Na fikiria Sasa tutaongea yote Sasa kama imeenda hivyo Hata mimi nitaongeza yangu tatu Lakini kwa sababu Mimi nataka kuwa mutifu, nataka kupea kanisa respect, na tumekuwa na uhusiano kama MP wa hii eneo, nimekuwa na uhusiano mwema kabisa uh, na kanisa, na sitaki kuharibu huo uhusiano. Wakati wangu wa siyasa ikifika, ikifika mahali nitasema kitu, mimi munajua zuwa siogopi. Nitasema na nitasema yenye itasaidia mwananchi But for now, nataka kwanza tutengenezee wananchi barabara Tuapatie maji, tuapatie stima, tuapatie maendereo Watoto wetu waende shure, tutengeneze shure zetu Ma, Tuende hivi, mimi ile, ule mutu nitafuata Ama nitataka anifuate Nitataka aongozo na kitu moja tu Vision Sio ukabira Ni maono Maono peke yake Mimi ni mtu amekubari Hata kama nitaongozwa Na Mwenye ametoka hile kabira dogo kabisa Ama we ametoka wapi Ama ametoka tuokana Mimi naweza kubali uyo mtu wa niongoze As long as akona vision Lakini Sitaongozwa na ukabira Nitaongozwa na vision Iyo kitupeke yake Kwa sababu hii nchi yetu ikonyuma sana Mr. Mushangi there Who is the chairman Of the labor committee in parliament Now has the labor migration bill that we are working on to provide again another, you know, um, legal and institutional capacity for us to manage matters labor properly. We are also establishing the diaspora placement agency under our state department again to make that whole exercise seamless and it is the reason why when the president of Germany came to Kenya last year and I had a conversation with him and in having a one-on-one -on -one with him he told me Mr. President we have a labor crisis in Germany we need close to between 250 and 300,000 people skilled laborers semi-skilled laborers semi-skilled labor in, in Germany. So there's been a back and forth between our teams and yesterday became the climax when we could actually sign off uh, this um, comprehensive migration and labor mobility partnership that will provide um, and, and this just for Germany. We are negotiating for another maybe almost 19 countries on how we want to make sure that this is there is a formal way 
that Kenyans can work so that we can also protect Kenyans who come and work here. There must be a framework where we make sure that nobody takes advantage of them. They are paid what is due to them. They are treated in the manner in which they should be because in the absence of an agreement, it becomes difficult to enforce. So that agreement will give us the opportunity to enforce the requirements of the law in this country as we also jointly do it in Kenya. It will also give us the opportunity uh, to make sure that uh, there are no abuses of Kenyans and nobody takes advantage of our country. We want to make sure that this is seamless and um, we want to also avoid unlicensed people from operating in this space. The other thing that we're going to be very keen about, and uh, Alfred Mutua and his team have uh, very clear instructions from the government of Kenya, is not to have any recruiting agent that is not licensed. And those that are not doing the right thing, they know uh, what the consequences will be, because we want this arrangement to be corruption free and to make sure that it is uh, seamless and it benefits the people who eventually we are targeting. And this provides an opportunity for a win-win outcome. We have a youth bulge in Kenya. We inject close to a million young people every year into the labor market from different categories. Coming out of uh, school, coming out of different colleges, coming out of different Tibet, coming out of um, close to 70 universities that we have in Kenya. On the other side, we have uh, a German labor market that is looking out for skilled, hardworking, innovative labor. We are happy to share our talented and skilled workforce with the rest of the world. We are happy to share with Germany because we have a solid history with Germany. That history dates back to hundreds of years. As I said yesterday, uh, Dr. Kraft and Redman became the first diplomats to visit our country. And ever since, the relationship between Kenya and Germany has been solid, has been built on a very firm foundation. We spend close to 30% of our budget on education. And we do it deliberately because we believe that we have the best human capital. And the best way to sharpen it and to make it fit for purpose is to have proper education, proper training. And that's why we spend that amount of money. We are very clear that uh, our human capital will work for us and work for themselves if they have requisite training. I am very happy to hear uh, the gentleman who has said uh, they are working on the education so that we can customize and, and improve the language and improve the skills set so that uh, apart from the training we are doing in Kenya, this collaboration gives us an opportunity to up the skills set and to sharpen the skills so that we can um, tap into the European market. And we are very happy to work with Germany on setting the standards. The agreement that now has been signed uh, yesterday protects Kenyan labor from being exploited, working within the rules, making sure that remunerated in accordance with the law, and making sure that there is clarity in how they are contracted. It also gives uh, our German companies the confidence that they are dealing with people with skills that are genuine, that are tested, that are licensed, so that it, it, it becomes a win-win both ways. 
And uh, therefore, I think it is a moment in history that we can actually escalate this relationship, which has been solid to another level. People in Kenya are very excited about uh, the signing of this agreement. And I am told by the ministry responsible for diaspora affairs that the first recruitment exercise will happen in two weeks. That tells you how ready people have been. Thank you.